Hello, in today's video, I'm sharing with you some of my fall beauty favorites and what's new in my routine now that the weather is a little bit chillier and our skin is feeling it, maybe getting a little drier, feeling more cracked in both for like hair and skin as well. Some beauty finds that help with that hydration. So I'm excited to share some of these. The beauty industry is on fire, just trying to solve for clean beauty, anti-aging, things that are performative, great price ranges that are attainable. So let's get right to it. I'm Ziba Lennox. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, a very warm welcome. I cover styling and fashion videos. If you don't want to miss the next one, make sure to hit the subscribe button. In my 20s and 30s, I really thought about anti-aging and prevention. And now that I am 42 and actually have to be more deliberate about it, it does feel more intentional, but it's things that I've always practiced anyway. So it doesn't feel like my routine is really that different. It's just that now I have a lot more choices, which is awesome. So I'm really excited to show you the first product. All right, and it's really restorative for dry ends and split ends. And if you wanna grow your hair longer and or it's color process, this really helps. It's from Goop Glow and you put it on 20 minutes before you shampoo, you leave it on and you just kind of do whatever you need to do. And then you wash it off in the shower or bath. And I've only used it a couple of times once a week. So for about two weeks, and it is really nice for fall and winter when our hair is getting more brittle and dry. It is a great thing to consider adding to maybe even your weekly routine just for your hair health. The next thing I wanna show you is what I use for my bedtime routine for my lips to fight the fine lines around my mouth, as well as to just wake up with softer, plumper, juicier lips. I'll just do this. And what it does, it not only like helps prevent the fine lines and wrinkles around your mouth, also really helps exfoliate your lips as well. Then I grabbed this By Terry Lip Balm, Balm de Rose. It's got this beautiful rose fragrance smell that's very light and very sensitive to smell, so I don't like anything so overpowering. And this is just right. Consistency is nice and buttery. It's just really, really light. And what I do is I just put it all over. It's almost like an overnight lip mask. It's not intended for that. You can wear it during the day as well. I just don't prefer the color, but this is just so nice and rich. I really love sleeping with it. So when I wake up the next morning, I sometimes can still like, it's so rich. So my lips, even though they like drink it in, it's still there. It's amazing, I love it. The other amazing product for fall winter beauty is the Beauty Counter Cleansing Balm. This is one of the first products that I tried about four years ago, and I have not stopped using it. It is so gentle, it's beautiful. Even if you have very sensitive skin, you will be so happy with it. it what I do is I grab I grab a little scoop, I put it all over my face, especially with, I wear a lot of eye makeup, like eye makeup, but I put it all over. And then with a damp, warm wash cloth, I just wipe everything off. If my skin is feeling extra dry, what I'll do after I finish putting on all of my moisturizers, I will put on a light coat overnight just to kind of embalm myself if it's getting really cold or if my feelings, if my face is feeling really cracked. Like sometimes when we go on ski vacations and I've been out like high altitude weathering the conditions and I'm feeling really chapped, I'll put this on, I'll sleep with it, a light coat overnight and it is lovely. If you're looking for something that has a more attainable price point, the other product that I would recommend that you use is the Palmer's Cleansing Face Oil. It kind of does the same thing as this. So beautiful. It's very soft. You can't use it as like an overnight mask. Like you have to definitely rinse it off, but it does all the same things. And that's something that's definitely on my rotation. I actually just put an order in right now on Amazon. So, so I don't have it to show you, but it's about $6 a bottle. It's incredible. While we're on skincare, let me show you this little Goop Glow Duo Microderm Instant Exfoliator. It's something that I tried when they first brought it out and I absolutely loved it. And then I just ran out and I just kind of forgot about it. But I saw that these two were being sold for, I think it was like less than $50, the Goop Glow Lotion and this again. And I thought, you know what, let's try it one more time. And I'm in love. Like my face feels as soft as a baby's bottom. And you rub it all over your face for three minutes. You leave it on, it tingles, you wash it off. And it really does a beautiful job of exfoliating. And it has a lot of anti-aging properties that is clean as well. So I love it. And then this is new in my routine, the Gloop Roll 
lotion. For now, I'm giving it a good solid try. I'll try it for the month and see what happens. Other really cool thing I discovered was this array, not today gray capsules. And it's a supplement that's loaded with folate, biotin, uh, vitamin D, B6, 12, calcium, iron, a lot of the things, it also has a proprietary blend, of course, a lot of things that are very anti-aging from the inside out. And the whole purpose is to help us retain our hair pigment. So I think it's terribly exciting to kind of have something like this where you can just strengthen your hair, you can kind of protect the aging. From what I understand of some of the gray that happens as well as with like hair loss, it's like stress and hormonal changes. So I think if we can help support our hormones, then we can retain our hair pigment for a little longer, which is great. I'll take it. Next thing I want to show you is clean, this clean deodorant by Primally Pure. I am very passionate about clean deodorants. Most deodorants have a lot of toxic chemicals and it's been proven that when you under your arm, that's why I buy your lymph nodes and experts say that it can lead to breast cancer, an increase in the chances of getting breast cancer. I have a family of breast cancer. My mom is currently battling breast cancer for the second time right now. So it's a cause that's near and dear to my heart. This company is just very passionate about giving back to breast cancer research, as well as having incredibly beautiful, clean products. I'm very excited that this works because I have tried so many, and you know what, even though I kind of smell sometimes, I rather smell a little bit than wear a regular deodorant. So like I've tried, I've many, many, you could name a clean deodorant and I've probably tried it. And this is the first one where I noticed that I don't smell. So I'm very happy they have this one. I have a charcoal one. Hmm. I don't know why I'm liking this one right now. It's got a very interesting scent. It's called geranium, but I don't really smell it. Like it just smells like very clean. And this one, the charcoal one is just more minerally, like fresh minty minerally. For some reason, I'm digging this one right now. They are very performative. They are lovely. The body butter is delicious. And it's made only from tallow from grass-fed cows, coconut oil, mango butter, shea butter, sweet almond oil, extra virgin olive oil. And that's basically it. It's, it truly is buttery. Oh, I love it. Primarily Pure, made in Santa Monica. Okay, the next big fall winter beauty is let's add some color back. And I've done videos before on Saint Tropez. I really like the way that the tanning performs. I love the color, the tint that it does. This facial spray, I mean, you can see I've used most of it. However, plot twist, I'm trying to face it out of my portfolio array of products because I am trying to go clean wherever I can. And I'm not 100% clean. I still use some products that are just regular makeup. I'm not perfect. What I have found that I like the color even more, and it's amazing during fall winter because it's in an oil base, is Tan Lux Drop. They're pricey, but they're clean. And also it gives you a nice toasty brown color. And then because it's an oil form, like I like putting it in my serum and then just mixing it all together for extra hydration. It's lovely. I don't have it. It's coming to me, but I will put it up on the screen so you know what it looks like. And yeah, this was a good run, beautiful color. You know, if you're, I mean, I've recommended it before, I, I will finish the bottle, I'm not getting crazy, but this is not, this is something that I can easily phase out and I won't miss. This is a product that I'm absolutely loving. This blush is so beautiful and light and it's also a creamy consistency. So it, as extra hydration to your skin. And it, because I have more creams and serums and all the things on my skin, like once I put this on, it just kind of like blends really well. Sometimes when I have so much product on my skin, when I put a powder on, it can kind of like streak. And so the cream just kind of helps tie everything together and there's not like any streaking or any weird powder meets cream situation, if you know what I mean. So. I've been really happy with it. This isn't a Beverly Hills. And you know, I just do this. I put it across my nose like this. And I try to like recreate a little bit of like a sunburn look. And it's just nice and like gives me so much natural looking color. Another thing from Merit that I am loving and I've gotten so many compliments on 
is their eyebrow gel. Like I went to Chicago this weekend because my fitness business is still there and I saw some friends and a few of them said, well, your eyebrows look amazing, what are you doing? And the only thing that, have, that has changed in my eyebrow routine is that I've started to fill them in with this. And what this does is it really allows like you to like lift them up and just it kind of like almost like a soap brow. Oops, I just put it on my hair. Sorry, everyone. A little bit of like a soap brow and it just shapes them so beautifully. I can't, I can't believe it's also a clean product. This is in color blonde and I thought that this would be too light for me because I have dark roots but I think that this is working really well. So if you're gonna get the medium brown, just be prepared to have like even like deeper brows. And I think I would want that, but it wasn't in stock when I ordered it. So I settled for, for blonde, but I've actually been very happy with it. This thing is my Kerastase hair oil that I use after I've styled my hair. I just like dab it on a couple of drops and it always just gives me like a little bit of, and my hair is really dirty right now. So just don't mind me, but it, you like immediately see how it like, lifts like that shine it just works right away and when you need a little bit of extra help with like your dry ends i haven't found anything that i love as much as the kerastase hair oil it lasts a long long time this lasts forever i've had this i think now for a couple of years and in terms of hair prep the beauty bio dry shampoo i think in the fall and winter i definitely wash my hair a little bit less than i do in the summer because i'm not sweating as much it's not as you know, there's not as much heat and that kind of stuff. So I can maybe stretch out an extra day of not washing my hair. So I like to use the Healthy Scalp Dry Shampoo. And this is clean, it doesn't dry your hair out. There's no alcohol to dry out your hair or, you know, exasperate the dryness to it. And there's no like, also like weird intoxicating smell. You know how sometimes when you use a dry shampoo, you're just, you're so aware that you put dry shampoo on all day because because you can smell it all day. That's not what happens here. It also adds a little bit of volume to your roots as well. So I really liked it. It's a little bit pricier for a dry shampoo and I think it's worth it. I think it's worth that it's clean. It's got UV color protection. Give it a try. I think if you don't like it, I think all these companies, if you don't like stuff, just return it. They'll give you your money back. Sometimes beauties are, beauty products are such a risk because you're like, oh, what if it doesn't work? Most companies will give you your money back. Let's move on to lip, okay? Okay, so confession, I have a severe addiction, severe addiction to these Color Stay Color Pencils by Maybelline. I probably have every color of them. These are my fall picks. They are not clean whatsoever, but they are so darn good. And they just color your lips beautifully. You just literally draw them on, but I don't wanna draw them on yet because I wanted to show you the clean antithesis of that, which is the Goop Lip Balm. The lip balm has a cult following, which I, I mean, perhaps. So I didn't get the lip balm when it first came out, but now that it came out with a tinted lip balm, I was like, let's try that because I'm not gonna like overpay for a lip balm. I like, I have like super goop for lip balm. I'm not that picky with them. And so I didn't want to go and make a transaction just for this, but because I love lip color and it always makes me feel more put together. I did try these and they are really beautiful. This one is the rose. Okay. Very, very light color. It also reminds me a lot of the Merit lip oil. The thing with the Merit lip oil, the Merit lip oil, which I love, but I didn't want to recommend in a silo. I love it, but the problem is if your lips are dry, it will drink up the, the oil right away and you're left with nothing. So you have to wear a lip balm underneath the lip oil. Otherwise it doesn't work. But if you want to put on this tinted lip balm and then put on the oil on top, I have, I have more staying power. And, and like, if you like that glossy, like, high shine, and if you have super luscious full lips that I don't have, my lips aren't bad, but they're not luscious, then this is this is great. Might be a thing. Again, love these. You cannot wear this by its own unless you have beautiful hydrated on cracked lips, which is not attainable for many of us during fall winter. To so use the Merit with a balm, but you can use this Goop Balm by itself. 
if you have a friend that loves lip balm, this is a great, probably a holiday gift for them. Let me show you the, the stuff that's a little, my guilty pleasure lipstick. This one is in No, No Limits. No, No Limits. What I love about this lip crayon, smells very pleasant. It's got this very like beautiful kind of light fragrance that doesn't change even if it ages. So sometimes, you know, when lipsticks age and they start smelling really funky, this one, no. Also, you can overdraw your lips really well, like, and get yourself like a big, huge lip. And you, you can't even tell, you cannot tell. And also it lasts all day long. It really lasts so long. It lasts for at least five hours. So I really like it. I'm having a hard time quitting, especially because I just bought these two colors. My go-to color is this Enjoy the View. It's lovely, it's nude. It's, it adds just a little pump of color. It, you can just make your lips a little bigger and it looks very natural looking. Then this one is Change is Good. It's a more mauve version of this one. And then this one, No No Good, is um, is more of a bricky, kind of like more of a holiday color that I wanted for fall. And I have so many of these, I could probably just do a video just showing you the different colors and take up the whole time because I have many. I wanna show you some fragrances that are also by Goop. One of them is the Edition One. It's now called Church. Ooh, it just smells very wintry. Incense, woody, sandalwood. It's not super feminine, but it's not masculine either. It's just, you just need like a light little spray. I love this like in cold days, it's my favorite. And the other one to kind of like balance it out when I don't feel so wintry woodsy is this smells like my orgasm. It smells so good. I can't even tell it, like it's rosy, it's flowery. It's also like have some sandalwood in there and it's kind of addicting you know like those smells where you're like you keep going back for more and you keep like smelling it and then you go away like sometimes i found myself just grabbing a sniff <laughs> it's so good these are two clean scents that i have been wearing i also i i used to love perfume before i had kids and then when i had kids if something changed and i you know you read about all the bad stuff that's in fragrance and i just thought to myself I can't be putting this on my on my on my babies. So things changed. But yeah, I used to, I mean all of these things. I still I still have all of these from before. I have so I mean I have dozens of perfumes that I can't throw away because I have like an emotional connection to them. But like I remember what I was doing when I had them. But when I got them, but I can't quite get rid of them. Make sure to check out my full mirror review video and five minute get ready with me routine. It's very simple. I show you exactly how to use it. I do talk about some of the nuances about the lip oil, but I also show you the minimalist concealer stick, everything, like the whole thing. So check that out. It's an awesome up and coming brand. And also make sure to check out my volume secrets as well, where I walk through some of the hacks that I do to just to get a little bit, more, today's not the day, but that I get used to get a little bit more volume in my hair. And thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you want me to go into more detail on any of these products. And I really hope to see you next time. If you had fun with me, give me a thumbs up.